Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the award ceremony. I'm Max. I'm super excited to see you all. Um, I will be your host tonight, and with me is David. Hello, everyone. I'm David. Uh, really happy to be with you all. Uh, to tonight, we'll spend around one hour together. Uh, first, we'll start with a few trivia and stats about all of the team teams uh, competing tonight. Uh, then we'll do a quick recap of the of the problem statement. Uh, on which you worked uh, for the past four hours. And then finally, we'll announce the top 10 teams and of course the winners of Ashcode 2021. Uh, we'll try to do that a little bit uh, as quick as possible so that we'll have more uh, quality time together uh, with a QA. and a uh, We'll have around 45 minutes of Q&A uh, in order yet yeah, to, to better uh, know each other. So please, if you have any question, please uh, stay muted uh, during the the first part of the presentation and uh, use the activities tab, which is located on the right uh, top right hand corner of your screen. Then click on Q&A uh, and add your questions or uh, vote to the uh, best questions. At the end of the presentation, Shamek uh, from the engineering team will come uh, to um, have this Q&A with you. We'll be all of us, all of the, the whole Hashco team around the table in order to uh, answer any question on Google, on uh, Hashcode, or on uh, anything you want. So yeah, please uh, bear with us. And uh, what I want to begin with is that, yeah, Hashcode is modeled uh, after software engineering at Google. And it means that uh, we do a lot of things in teams like like in Hashcode. Uh, here is the photo of uh, we took this afternoon, actually, of uh, the whole Hashcode team uh, pre preparing uh, tonight's um, event. Uh, we were uh, remote, of course. We couldn't be uh, in person like we always do, uh, unfortunately. But still, we, we had fun and we had a, a, nice, uh, a nice evening together. And we really hope that it was the same for you. Next, I just want to first uh, congratulate you because uh, out of the 128,000 people who participated in the online qualification round uh, two, two months earlier, uh, you made it to the final. You are the top 0.1%. So it's, yeah, it's a big achievement. It's really, really impressive. And uh, congratulations to all of you for being there tonight. You really deserve it. In terms of countries, uh, it's really cool to, to be all connected virtually, even if you know we would uh, prefer being together in Dublin, for example. Uh, but you know, let's let's see if uh, we can do that again in, in the next years. Uh, we had 19 different countries participating uh, and tackling the same problem, so it was yeah really really interesting to see. I hope you had uh, you had fun and that today today's challenge was not too hard. Talking about today's challenge, Max, uh, what can we say? Yeah, I'm going to briefly recap the problem. And the reason for this is that we will actually show um, this um, a recorded version of this stream here also to people from the online qualification round. So they have not worked on the problem like you. So the problem was about uh, prioritizing software features at Google. In real life, of course, we do have product managers, quarterly objectives, and so on. But still, the um, problem was actually a very nice abstraction. So the challenge was modeling the trade-off between monolithic binaries versus microservices. Of course, this is a trade-off, and it can be optimized. I actually observe this challenge in my real-life job at YouTube um, every day. Um, more precisely, there were a number of engineers um, to implement features. Um, there were a number of features and their impact on the users, and also binaries, the features that could be run in. And then an engineer could take up um, different activities, for instance, implement a new feature within a binary, move services um, to use one binary or another, create new binaries, or, well, if there's nothing to do, just watch a cat video um, on YouTube. Um, well, uh, if we look at this slide, um, the upper graph here shows what the engineers are actually doing during one um, solution here. 
Um, so blue is implementing, meaning that uh, the majority of um, engineers is constantly busy just building new features, whereas some of them are moving them around between different services. And on the lower graph, you can see that the majority of the um, features implemented are actually the ones which the users want the most. So that's pretty good, and it's probably what you should be doing. Um, with this, we come to the probably exciting part of the um, presentation, namely the results. Well, we start with something non-obvious. Um, first, we want to call out a team which managed uh, to uh, submit 79 times, but not a single time uh, there was uh, an invalid solution. So congratulations to Stein's gate uh, for bug-free uh, programming. Um, well, we we'll move on to the actual first time that somebody scored. So uh, the first non-trivial submission, and by that we mean somebody not copying the example and getting it scored, were Le Victime uh, from France with uh, 540 points, and it took them just 28 minutes. So um, they essentially have the speed award of this competition. Congrats to them. But now, before we actually start uh, revealing information one by one and showing um, uh, who might have won. Uh, here's the frozen scoreboard. You probably know it very well. This is how it looked before. David. Yes, indeed. Uh, one hour before the end of the competition, we have this tradition uh, to freeze the scoreboard in order to, ha to add a little bit of spice uh, to the competition. Uh, now, yeah, let's see uh, if it changed at all. And if so, uh, which team moved uh, in that ranking? But first, just before that, uh, let's tackle the best scores per data sets, because, you know, uh, even if one team uh, scored first in hash code, it does not uh, mean that they had the maximum results in all of the data sets. So, yeah, let's begin with uh, the example, Max. Yeah, OK. On uh... Data set A, traditionally, that's the example. We have Le Victime with four, uh, four, uh, 540 points. And the reason here is uh, the first team uh, to submit the best score uh, will be chosen if uh, there's a tie. Uh, on the data set B, Breath of Choice, we have the MIPT Cactus with more than 15.6 uh, million points. So congratulations to them. On dataset C, constraint optimization, we have yet another team, Black Cow V3, um, with 27 million points. On dataset D, distinctions, uh, distinction, we have yet another team, uh, no jokes about underpants, with 114.8 uh, million points. And dataset E, expectation maximization, is uh, again uh, another team scoring the highest. It is past glory with 35.8 million points. Congratulations to them. And finally, the last data set, uh, which is called F5000. We have another uh, same team here, uh, no jokes about underpants, with 181.3 million points. Congratulations to them. Next, yeah, let's get the chase and go directly to the top 10 uh, with uh, normal effects uh, that we will provide for you. So first, team number 10. It's been a, a huge fight because actually all of the uh, teams in the 10 positions that I'm going to say here, they scored more than 300 million points. So that's amazing. And in number 10, we have a team from Poland who were there last year. It's the Rethinkers with just a little more than 300 million points. Woo! Max? On position number nine, we have a team from three different countries. Uh, one of them is Poland, but there's also Romania and France. Um, they also competed last year, and they are the Marathoners. Congratulations. Yeah, indeed, Hashcode is really a marathon. Uh, number eight, we have a team for which it's the first time they are competing. They come from Russia. They scored 309.9 million points. It's Bryansk North. Uh, 
Congratulations. On uh, position number seven, also a team from Russia, very tight. Uh, so just uh, very, very tight. They like the competition, which is great. And the hash code fans, congratulations. In number six, we have a team for which it's the first time they are competing. They come from Japan and it's the team Imanisu with 316 million points. And on position number five, we have again a team from Poland called uh, Kobor with 323 million points. Congratulations to them. And finally, just uh, one step from the podium. Position number four is another team from Japan. Actually, they were the winners of the OQR of the qualifications. It's the team Star Code. Congratulations, Star Code. Now, yeah, let's go to the what, what you are all waiting for. The top three teams. Max, what can you tell us about team in position number three? Yeah, very interesting. Um, if I remember correctly, they were not among the top ones on any data sets yet. They are on position number three. Also, they ranked fourth in the qualification round. On uh, the third place, we have Cha 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 Yang with 327 million points. Congratulations. Position number two. It's actually the fourth time they've been competing, so they are really used to this competition. Uh, and actually, they were last year's winners, 2021, 2020 winners. They come from Belarus, Russia, and Ukraine. It's Fast Glory. Congratulations, Fast Glory, on your second position with 366 million points. So, Max, that's the big reveal. Well, can you tell uh, us more coming, about position number one? We're coming to the winners of uh, this year's edition of Hashcode. The uh, winners of the finals of Hashcode 2021 are no jokes about underpants. Congratulations. Congratulations. It was a special effect for you. Okay, now we have to, to clean everything. Um, we yeah, would like to congratulate the winner, but not only uh, just the winners, but actually just making it to the finals um, is really, really hard. Um, you Please remember, you are among the top 0.1%, and um, that's, that's really, 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 really hard. Uh, well, uh, please wait for an email. We're going to send you an email after this. Um, and the email will contain how to claim your prizes and also um, swag for every finalist here. Um, but now I will hand over to Pshamek uh, for a Q&A um, where you can ask your questions. Thanks a lot, Max, and thank you, David. Wow, what a run. So congratulations to the winners. Congratulations to all of you for making it here. My name is Pshamek. I'm a software engineer at uh, Google Paris. And I'm part of the Hashcode engineering team. We are a team of software engineers. We are volunteers. Uh, every year, in addition to our core job at Google, we also help with Hashcode. In particular, we are responsible for preparing the actual competition problems, as well as for Hashcode judge system. Very importantly, thank you for participating in Hashcode in the first place. Uh, in the first place, it means uh, a lot to us. Um, it's hard to believe that it's already almost over, right? Uh, and I don't mean uh, this call, I also mean Hashcode 2021. It was uh, definitely quite uh, quite a ride. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Um, we definitely did. Um, thank you for being part of it. And uh, with that, we are going to close. We have an extended round, just as we discussed in the Q&A. It's starting very soon, very, very soon. And it will remain open for uh, a week or two. I hope that everybody will get some opportunity to rest. Uh, regardless of whether it's evening, night, morning, or afternoon for you, wherever you are, take some time to, to recover. 
and I hope to see you around and to see you participating in Hashcode again next year. Thanks a lot and see you next time.